Final countdown to the primaries. Voters head to the polls in just six days, and we want to make sure you're ready. So tonight we continue our one on one profiles, but now we move to the U.S. Senate race. Brian Abel shares his sit down with the President Trump endorsed Republican John James. I asked Republican candidate for U.S. Senate John James his vision for Michigan if he were to be elected. A total of seven questions that each candidate was also asked. Former Army Apache helicopter pilot and business owner John James is a family man, wife and two kids, who says his interest is in education. I really want to be known for being a good, strong man of faith, a, uh, a good husband, a father in that order. But what I really want to work on is a boarding school for foster kids. He says he'd like to open a school with his wife that's similar to a country day or Cranbrook. When it comes to keeping those kids safe in school, James believes he'd bring both sides of the aisle together for a solution that looks at mental health and doesn't infringe on the Second Amendment. If you take a look at the characteristics of how this is spread, it looks like a virus. I believe that working with the CDC, working with uh, other experts around the country and bringing both sides together to find a long term solution for this issue. I believe that's the solution we need for Michigan's economy to thrive. James says he'd pursue a path of deregulation to make the Mitten State a leader in not only mobility, but agriculture, aerospace and defense. When we the government gets out of business's way uh, and allows uh, them to innovate and not have preemptive regulations that stifle innovation. Uh, you make uh, you tear down barriers and then capital investment will come. James says he attended a meet and greet, but pushes back on his opponent's assertion that he supports a Democratic Detroit Councilwoman's policies. I believe that it is my responsibility to know the people who are representing me and I've grown jobs in southwest uh, Detroit and uh, she was the councilwoman who represented that area, but I do not support that left this agenda. We must again defund sanctuary cities, secure our borders, and support ICE and uh, protect them from the liberal leftist progressive agenda. We also asked James about his views on health care reform. To hear that and the answer to all seven questions, head to our website, WXYZ.com. Brian Abel, 7 Action News. And once again, if you missed any of these one on ones, and of course the one today with John James, you can check out the candidate profiles for Michigan's gubernatorial race and more on our website, WXYZ.com. Now tomorrow at five, we'll continue our sit downs with the Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate, Debbie Stabenow. And other political